Welcome to Hey Amherst, your source for local news. I'm Victoria Arias. And I'm Molly Morgan. In today's Hey Amherst, we will take a look into the Amherst Pelham Regional School District budget and its impact. We will also look at rent hikes in a local apartment complex and at Governor Deval Patrick's interview with Ben Schwartz in Emphasis, Massachusetts. Superintendent Maria Garrick proposed a new budget that would decrease the budget gap of more than $90,000 in Amherst Regional Schools for the 2013 to 2014 school year. Under this new plan, about 12 and a half full-time positions will be cut to decrease the gap. This cut could affect more than 21 different positions in Amherst Regional High School. It will affect academic and elective programs. In the middle school, the majority of the cuts will spread throughout elective programs in technology and physical education. The cut of physical education was a point of concern to many committee members. Committee member Michael Dechara said that the reduction in physical education time was a little surprising in light of the school committee's prior discussions of health, student health. The loss of a physical education teacher is expected to save the district more than $57,000. Garrick said in the past 10 years, there has been a decline of enrollment of almost 500 students, and the cuts would not change classroom sizes or a reduction in program offerings in the high school. The middle school's elimination of technology as a course offering will be integrated in other subjects that will require some technology. Garrick did not detail how the reductions will be made or how many layoffs may be required, but she aims to create a budget that is sustainable in the long term. Low-income families in Amherst are being forced to move out of their apartments due to the raising of the rent. Tenants at Echo Village Apartments were notified to either continue paying their rent or seek legal help to remain in their homes. In early February, most of the 24 tenants in Echo Village Apartments were sent letters that their rent will increase and their tenancies would be terminated by the end of March. Under their new property management, Eagle Crest, those with federal Section 8 vouchers would have an expected rent boost between 20 and 40 percent. People with federal Section 8 vouchers are expected to pay a percentage of their income towards rent and Section 8 pays the rest. Members of the Family Outreach of Amherst, a program of the Center for Human Development, met Wednesday with seven of the 19 tenants who have federal Section 8 vouchers to outline a way in which they will not be evicted come April 1st. Tenants' concerns were expressed during the meeting, with worries they would need to move out of Amherst before their children finish the school year. Jennifer Duringer, managing attorney for community legal aid, said Amherst is already a difficult community for low-income residents due to the high rents. She said, finding homes for the 19 Section 8 tenants will be their biggest challenge because low-income tenants would need to meet the approximate 1200 monthly rent cap for a two-bedroom apartment and $1,400 for a three-bedroom apartment. Governor Deval Patrick joined Amherst Media last Thursday in Emphasis, Massachusetts with Ben Schwartz to discuss Massachusetts voting rates, last Monday's sequester meeting with President Barack Obama alongside other governors and his budget proposal. Massachusetts has the lowest voting participation rate and he hopes to create simpler and more inspiring voting methods. Last Monday, the governor attended the sequester meeting where they discussed budget cuts here in Massachusetts. The biggest impact of the sequester will affect jobs in, defense, in the defense industry, in university, and education, especially special needs programs. He says the effect will be gradual and we will not feel the impact right away. Local community members joined Amherst Media as the governor discussed ways his new budget proposal can improve Massachusetts in a local and state level. His plan calls for a decrease in sales tax from 6.25% to 4.5% and an increase in income tax from 5.25% to 6.25% and doubling the exemptions. The proposal, if passed, would lead to a $1.9 billion tax increase that would help fund new education and transportation plans. The governor's education plan promotes early education that he hopes would eliminate the 30,000 kids on waiting lists waiting to enter elementary schools. He hopes to provide people with the financial capabilities to obtain an education. His transportation plan aims to create jobs for the people and to unlock economic opportunities for the general public. 
The governor's question for Massachusetts is, are we prepared to sacrifice for our children and grandchildren? And that is all for today's Hey Amherst. Thanks for watching.